Hey folks, this is Jack from Intel Automotive, and I'm so excited to show to you a live demonstration of our new AI-enhanced software-defined vehicle SOCs that will commercially ship by the end of 2024. We recently announced this line of products and what they can deliver in the vehicle, bringing the best of the AI PC and the best of Intel's rich history and data center to deliver a true software-defined experience that we, we call software defined done right. So what we've got here is representative of a typical vehicle. You've got your digital instrument cluster, you've got a navigation system, a front passenger screen, and then a large display here that shows four independent displays that might be elsewhere throughout the vehicle. So what are we seeing? From a software standpoint, a key challenge in the industry is how to preserve legacy software in investment in traditional RTOSs like Cunix, and also bring in the new, things like Android. What we offer is silicon-enforced separation to bring these workloads together on one platform running concurrently at the same time with mixed criticality enforced in silicon. So the instrument cluster, is a real-time environment, so telltales such as a low tire pressure warning or check engine light, those things still happen with the criticality that you would expect of a safety critical workload. While at the same time, you have a full Android environment. So here, uh, we're, we're playing with Waze, we're calculating our trip, um, and off we go. Here, a uh, passenger might be enjoying a game. In the rear seat, one of our kids is playing a, a, a AAA game in the PC space, and then another kid is watching a 4K high-definition movie. All of these things are running on the same platform at the same time, and we've even thrown in a generational AI voice assistant. The utilization chart shows the total utilization of the system, as well as what each independent virtual machine is consuming on the platform. And this is how we can show really the power of those data center virtualization technologies that allow us to run a very high performance, untrusted environment at the same time as we are uh, running a digital instrument cluster with the traditional automotive industry real-time operating system. So what we're also demonstrating is real-time AI inferencing in the form of driver monitoring. It's important to make sure the driver is paying attention to the road instead of being distracted with their drink or with their phone. Or perhaps I was tired. As you'll notice in the system, it detected that I was getting drowsy. Or perhaps I took a phone call. The system recognized that I was on my phone. So in this way, we're bringing the power of the AI PC into the vehicle and doing AI computer vision workloads for driver and occupant monitoring. So what we've shown you here is Intel's vision for a software-defined vehicle. We think it's essential to bring the best of the AI PC with the best of the data center into a new AI-enhanced software-defined vehicle silicon roadmap. Consolidating multiple workloads, the silicon-enforced separation is what we believe is software-defined done right. So we look forward to working with you in partnership and collaboration.